Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. People, listen to me and listen to me clearly. If you get pulled over for speeding, listen up now. You get pulled over for speeding. You may be doing illegal things. You could be trafficking kilos of cocaine. You might have guns in your car. If you get put over by an officer and you were doing over 80 miles an hour and you could possibly get away with whatever you're doing by just signing the traffic ticket and you choose to do otherwise and try to commit attempt murder on a police officer, you have a mental problem. You have a mental problem. In this video that you're about to see here, this young scholar here, he decided that he didn't want to sign a traffic citation for speeding. He told the officer he would rather die than sign a traffic citation. When the officer, well, or when he ignored signing the citation and rolled up his window and the officer tried to bust out the window, the young man tries to kill the officer when he could have just signed the citation and went about his way. I'm not even going to talk no more. Let's get right into this damn video. As he began to discuss the traffic citation that he was writing for this particular suspect, the suspect at some point began shooting at the initial officer on the scene. Suspect's name is Ger Geronimo Key. We begin tonight with breaking news. Five people have now been arrested in the shooting of a Memphis police second lieutenant, including the shooter. Police say that that person, the man's name, is Geronimo Key. He is now facing a laundry list of charges in this shooting, including attempted first degree murder. Now tonight we are breaking down the charges, plus who some of the other suspects are. We also have an update on the lieutenant's condition. Let's get right to our team coverage of this shooting. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon will have a timeline of how all of this happened. But first, let's get to Fox 13's Jack Billy. Jack joins us in our studio tonight. Jack, I know you got your hands on the police report detailing not only the charges facing that the shooter is facing, but his relationship to the other suspects. Yeah, that's right, Darcy. Now, Geronimo Key himself is charged with attempted first-degree murder, evading arrest, using a firearm during a felony, and speeding. Those four other people are charged with accessory after the fact, to wit, attempted first-degree murder. New court documents are giving us a clearer picture of what happened and how four other people were involved. They allege Key was pulled over for going 81 in a 55, then told the officer he would not sign the citation and that the officer would have to kill him. That's when the Let's stop it right there. I want y'all to literally think about this. <clears throat> you have a gun in your car. You got put over for doing over 80, 80 miles per hour. You were doing 81. You could get away with a citation. Raise your hand out there, whoever's watching me, if you're going to sign that citation quick as hell and get the hell up out of there if you know you got a weapon in your car. Give me the citation all day. If I know I'm out here doing dirt and I have a illegal weapon in the car, I'm going to take that citation. I didn't get searched by the officer. He's not trying to do anything else to me. Just tell me to take my citation and go on about my merry way. I'm taking the citation. Dude obviously has a mental problem. And it's good that they're getting someone like him off of the streets. Memphis is hopefully or can possibly, safe, can possibly be safer with people like him off the streets. Imagine what he'll do to you. The officer allegedly busted out Key's window and Key opened fire, hitting him four times and driving away. 
They say after that, Key called his mother, Tarazi Pennington, and told her what happened. After that, investigators say detectives called Pennington, and she denied any knowledge of the shooting. After that, investigators allege Key called his girlfriend, Kennedy Williams. She's accused of ordering him an Uber to her house so he could ditch his car in South Memphis. Real quick message to the people out there. Word of advice, right? If you know you raised your children up until the legal age where they can leave your household, and you possibly know they're out here doing dirt in the streets, they're playing with firearms, they're selling drugs, disconnect the, disconnect the umbilical cord from your children and let them live their life. There's nothing more you can do for them once you know you that if you know you've done your part as a parent, you raise them the best way you can. Some of us parents, you know, we raise our children in good environments, but they want to choose to go out there and play with the thugs, play in the streets, do what they want to do and be grown. Once they start doing that, let them be. You can't save them. There's nothing else you can do for them. You raised them and did what you had to do. Once they start doing all this other ridiculous stuff and playing in the streets, let them be. Don't stick up for them. Don't be an accessory to whatever they're doing out there in the world. You've done what you had. To, you've done what you had to do as a parent. I just want to throw that out there. Investigators say Key also called Zaire Key and Malik Oliver, who picked up his mother and took her to Walgreens to buy medical supplies to treat an injury to his hand. The whole group was arrested at Williams' house. And we've also learned the name of the officer who was shot, 2nd Lieutenant Bobby Johnson. MPD says he is now released from the hospital. Darcy? That is Fox 13's Jack Bill, you reporting live in studio tonight. Thank you so much, Jack. Our team coverage continues tonight with Fox 13's Kayla Solomon. She found out that the suspect is accused of shooting the officer and that his car, we learned, were miles apart. The officer and the suspect, they were miles apart in two different places, in fact. According to Memphis police... Let's stop the damn video right there. We don't have to go any further into this video. He ditched his car. He called his girlfriend to get him an Uber so he could leave his car at the scene wherever he ditched it at. On top of that, this young scholar got his mother involved in the crime because he wanted to call her, tell her what happened. The police called his mother. She didn't act like she, she acted as if she didn't know what happened. And now she's involved in it. It's so disgusting how these young punks out here get involved with the streets. They want to be tough. The big bad wolf. Then as soon as they get into a gym, they want to call their mama. They want, they, they want to call their mama. And it's sad because now the mother is an accessory to murder possibly. Or concealing evidence. It's sad. Some of these guys get their own family involved into situations that their family shouldn't be involved in. If you do something, you take accountability for yourself. You ride or die for yourself. You don't get your mother, your father, your brother, or any other family members involved in your nonsense. This happens way too much. Other people want to go out here and do all this dirt. Soon as they get into a gym, they want to call their mama or their daddy. Half you young punks out here that are doing type stuff like this and committing these criminal acts, y'all don't even be having bail money. That kills me all the time. Let me break down how certain stuff goes with some of these people out here that some of y'all out here think are really getting money in the streets. They do dirt. They commit a crime. They get locked up. They call their mama and their, they call their mama or their daddy to bail them out. They can't even take care of their own bail. Another scenario, these young punks out here, they end up doing dirt in the streets, then getting killed in the streets. Their mama or their daddy has to have a GoFundMe for them. They didn't even have life insurance, but they were out here driving the best new car in the most expensive gear and they weren't doing anything productive in society at all. And they didn't know how to save up money or really flip money like you thought they actually knew they had. 
like you actually thought they knew how to do. People better wake up. If you get pulled over by a police officer, take the goddamn citation, especially if you know you have something illegal in your car. I don't understand how people always get jammed up like that. This happens a lot. You have stupid people out here. They can be riding around with 20 bricks in their car. They don't have a license. They're riding around with the darkest tinted windows, a loud muffler. They do, yo, criminals are bozos. Some of them are real bozos and they don't have any, they got street smarts, but they don't have like some basic smarts that you need to avoid being de uh, detected by police officers. The necessary tools that you need to be undetected by police officers. Y'all don't have them type of smarts or wits. It's un it's crazy to me. What do y'all think about this? This man got a lot of people jammed up in a situation that he was at fault for. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.